If you create an object on the wrong layer or with the wrong color or the wrong line type, you can change its properties a couple of different ways. One of the more powerful tools we can use in AutoCAD is to use the Quick Properties palette. The Quick Properties palette is something that must be enabled. By clicking the Quick Properties button on the status bar. Once the Quick Properties palette has been turned on, you'll see some new information appear next to the cursor when you select an object. First of all, if you move your cursor over an object, a little panel will display to show you what the current properties of that object are. With the Quick Properties palette toggled on, when I click on the object, not only do I see the object is highlighted and that it can be edited using grips, I also get this new palette that appears. And the palette can be expanded simply by moving the cursor over the palette. You can control various aspects of the display of this palette by right-clicking on the Object Properties button on the status bar. Notice that this circle is supposed to represent a table, but it's currently drawn on layer 0. To change that property, you can simply come over here and click to select the layer in the Quick Properties palette. Then click on the drop-down list and choose the correct layer. Once you're done editing the object, simply press the Escape key. You can also do this by selecting multiple objects. Let me select all of these objects with a crossing window. And then notice that the Quick Properties palette shows me that the layers vary. There's more than one layer that's represented here. If I want to move all of the objects I selected to the furniture layer, I can simply select it here in the drop-down list. And all of the objects have now been moved to the furniture layer. There are several advantages to using the Quick Properties palette. I can move it around and place it close to the objects that I want to edit. And it only appears when I've made a selection of objects when I'm not using some other AutoCAD command. So if I press the Escape key and then select another object, like this line over here, notice that the Quick Properties palette pops up near the object. If I press the Escape key and come over here and select this line segment, Notice that the palette pops up over here, next to my cursor, making it easy for me to make the selection without having to move the mouse all the way up to the ribbon to make changes in the Layers or Properties panel in the ribbon bar.